Okay, so we have uh, four different uh, blocks here of the same uh, name or block. And let's try to put a fill inside these uh, letters. To put a fill, we're going to go and use this hatch icon from the draw tab over here. So we're going to click hatch. And when you click hatch, um, you can simply click on this in the space of your name and then it will try to locate the boundaries if there's any if there's any gap it might fail and when there is no gap it'll just highlight the space where the fill will be put in and you simply have to press enter and you will have a fill on this one if i try to uh, zoom closer to this one i can see that it's like l shape okay and the name of this fill is called angle. So if I, um, let's zoom extends again. If I click hatch and I click properties, the name of the hatch is angle. There are different hatch or fills that you can use. You can list them down by clicking this question mark and then press enter, okay? Press enter and those are the names. Press enter and those are the names. Uh, they disappear because you only have one line of uh, screen here. And you can pull this up. Okay. And you can see all of the names that's been listed. And if you continue to press enter, it'll just um, show you four names all at once. If you pull this up even more, you'll see all the other names that it was li it listed for you. And let's say I wanted to see what this ARH bone pattern looks like. So if I wanted to see what that HRH bone pattern looks like, all I have to do is make sure that I remember that name. So what I can do is I can highlight and I can copy and then I can do, uh, I'll pull this down again. I can do another hatch icon and then when you click on property, I can go here and I can paste the name uh, by control V. So that was holding your control and the letter V. So A R H bone. When I press enter, okay, all I have to do is uh, select the scale pattern. It's just one. Press enter. What is the angle? Zero. Press enter. And now I'm ready to like put it over here and then press enter. And that's what AR H bone will look like. Now, it doesn't look so much because we didn't put we put a scale of one. So if I um, do another hatch, okay, and then I change the property, and I wanted AR H bone, so I simply accept AR H bone is already listed here. I don't need to type it again. Press enter. I wanted to see. Uh, the actual um, pattern one is too big so I may want to put in a different number 0. Point, let's say 25 which is a quarter press enter the angle is 0 press enter and now if I point that to a different spot here and press enter now I can see uh, the pattern more clearly all right if I wanted to again have a different pattern uh, I all I have to do is click hatch, click properties, click the question mark, press enter to list it down, open this up so I can see a lot of listing, press enter to list again, press enter to list again, press enter until I see something with an AR on it. Okay, so um, I can do this um, ARSHKE, which is a Roof would shake texture. So I simply highlight, right click, copy. Okay. Click my hatch icon again. Click properties. Go here. And then control V. Okay. To paste that name. I wanted a point 0.25 is fine. So press enter. Angle is zero. So press enter. I'm ready to now put that on this other one here and then press enter and that's what a roof shake looks like okay um, I can also put in a solid fill by 
using another block here. And if I wanted a solid fill, I simply click hatch, click property, and then type here solid. Press enter, and then click here, and then press enter, and it will fill it with a solid hatch. Okay? 